Hey nerds, Farmer Jesse here. Today on your Market Garden Minute, I'm going to discuss row cover and how to buy the right kind for what you need. First, there are two main types of sunshine coming in here. First, there are two main types of row cover, uh, insect netting and frost protection. Uh, insect netting can be very light, like Agrabond's AG15 or anything between the weights of 0.45 to 0.55 ounces, but I'm going to encourage you to stay away from most row covers that are lightweight and build as insect netting. They simply will not last you more than a season. Uh, instead, for insect netting, I highly recommend you buy something like ProtectNet. And I want to be clear, this is not a sponsored post. It's just genuinely an effective product that I like. Uh, ProtectNet is definitely more expensive than most row cover by a lot, but it will last you years and years more than the really lightweight row covers. Plus, it does not hold in nearly the heat that row covers do. So in the late summer, when you're planting your fall brassicas, for instance, and you want to cover them from harlequin beetles, um, something like the Protect Net will not smother them, whereas even the lightest of row covers can do that. Now, for frost protection, starting on the lighter end, something like the Agrabon AG19, which is 0.55 ounces, is fine for really light jobs, say protecting lettuce in the spring from a light frost. It's good for that. What it should be not be used for is long jobs like overwintering, something like kale, because its light weight will lead to row cover eventually breaking down under the sun and the wind and the exposure and all those things. Wind like this that's trying to break down this video. The next leap up that you will commonly see is Agrabon AG30 or 0.9 ounce weight row cover. This is my total go-to row cover. It will protect crops into the mid 20s in Fahrenheit, so around negative three or four Celsius, and if we're getting colder than that, I can just double it up. Uh, the last weight that is worth mentioning is that 1.5 ounce or Agrabon AG50. This is a very heavy weight and will be good for over night protection and cold winters in the field. Just keep in mind that the heavier the row cover, the more light transmission you lose. So growth, if you're looking for growth, will slow down tremendously. If you're just protecting crops instead of trying to grow them, as is common in the winter, because you've already grown them to the point where they're harvestable, then that heavier row cover is gonna be fine. Some real quick buying tips, never buy row cover just to cover one bed at a time. The wider you can afford within reason, the better. I like to be able to cover a minimum of two beds at once, at least with wire hoops. Um, for hoops, I use nine gauge wire rolls cut into lengths at least double the bed width. So for an 18 inch bed, roughly 60 inch hoops is fine. I can also use these big metal conduit hoops that I bent using the Johnny's pipe bender, but I only use those hoops in the tunnel because the high profile will almost guarantee the cover blows off on windy days, no matter what you put to hold it down. I've tried many different things. I kind of wish I had some square sort of flat hoops because the arch can be difficult for covering, but I do like these tall arched hoops in the spring for tomatoes in case it dips into the 20s after I plant, which it sometimes does that. I don't know why. Anyway, that was maybe an exaggerated minute, but I hope that's helpful. Otherwise, this video was brought to you by you our patrons at patreon.com slash no toll growers. So if you like these kind of videos, please sign up to support more videos like it, buy some merch or a hat or the Living Soil Handbook over at notillgrowers.com. Like the video if you like the video, subscribe or follow if you're awesome. And thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.